What's going on guys? All the sprayers are on the table and we are going over our one to two gallon. We got manual pumps over here from when I first started out all the way to the My Four Sons King Daddy over here. You know, I wish someone made a video like this for when I was first starting out because the only sprayer videos were just like the professional ones and I didn't know if I should buy a one gallon, a four gallon and I learned by trial and error. And hopefully this video will help you guys out in choosing a sprayer, whether you're first starting out or you're thinking about stepping it up to the next level. I'm no expert, but I am a DIY dad and I can tell you from experience what all of these do. We'll keep things moving along and we'll make this thing fast. So let's get into it. First up is my beginner set from when I started like three years ago. Uh, I got the two gallon here and I got the one gallon. This was good enough. I had 1500 square feet in my backyard and actually it was just my only yard. I didn't have a front yard. And you know, this covered it. Uh, they spray like a cone and then you can adjust the tip and it turns into a laser. You know, these things are like 10 bucks and it got the job done, you know, but you know, the problem with these things is after you make one pass, the consistency stops and then you gotta stop and pump again, stop and pump again. And you know, it kind of gets annoying and you're not getting an even enough spread. So, you know, that's the problem with these. Plus two, when you're done and then you go to release it, uh, the air from the inside, you know, the stuff's like sprays on your face because you don't want to leave the air in the tank. So I got a little bit smarter and I found one that had a release valve on there for the air pressure. So that helped out big time. But this one is the one gallon and I was using this for my flowers and my bushes and stuff like that in my old house. And then now they have turned into a weed killer and a tenacity bottle. So. But to make it more consistent, I upgraded to the Harbor Freight manual. It's got these thin little noodle straps, really, uh, you know, it's whatever. But, uh, you know, for 1,500 square feet, you know, this it comes with the, it came with the dual nozzle and, you know, you're just walking and you're pumping and then it covered enough and it stayed a little more consistent, but you're still constantly pumping. It's kind of annoying. So that's when I wanted to upgrade to a battery after using this stuff for about a year. And that's when I got my sprayer plus. So that's a two gallon battery and let's put that on the table and take a look at that. Next up is the sprayer plus YT 25 E. This is a two gallon sprayer, comes with a fan tip and some other kind of spray nozzle here, cone, laser again, 12 volt ion battery. But when you spend a, a little bit more money than the you know $40, $50 Harbor Freight, you know, you get the brass wand here. There's these like special O-rings in here that, you know, I'm not educated on it. I know it's just something fancy. And then this hose that it doesn't like, if you keep it in one position, it doesn't like totally stay that way, I guess, and especially in cold weather, but not like we're spraying in cold anyways. But it's got a nice wide mouth here. That way you can pour the stuff in and not make too much of a mess. And it's got this like, you can twist it real easy. So it's a lot different than those other ones. Plus it has a handle on here. You can put your sprayer up on here, but you know, this thing sprays really nice. It's consistent and you know, obviously it's battery powered. It's really light, you know, and the battery just like slips right in and you're spraying. So, and it charges really fast cause it's a small battery. But the problem that I ran into with this is when I moved to my new house, I'm now dealing with just under 6,000 square feet and you know, it covers the front perfect. But then when I hit my second part, now once again, I am filling up again. So I'm running into a problem where I need more tank space because I have a bigger lawn. On the old lawn, this worked fine, but now on the new lawn, we have too much square footage. So we need a bigger sprayer. I mean, do we really need it? No, but I mean, for convenience, so you don't have to keep filling up, yes. So that's when I advanced and I picked up a couple Petras to try those out because I've seen a lot of people doing videos and on Instagram. So picked up a couple of those and let's throw those on the table. Next up is the Petra line. So the LT2 Pro right here, I use this quite a bit. This one they're saying like has like an 80 PSI, which it, you know, it's pretty consistent. But uh, what I really liked about it was it has a super wide mouth to pour everything in and to get your mixer in. A lot of people use the paint mixer, you know, to mix up their products. And what I liked about this tank is that you can't really see it from there, but this one can almost uh, run dry. You know, my, my sprayer plus that two gallon, that was one that can go all the way down. Cause sometimes you'll get a lot of stuff left at the bottom when you're spraying. 
This one pretty much runs down to the bottom and uh, has a nice big wide mouth. And it's got this back padding on here, but the shoulder straps are kind of weak on it. But you know, these things are, I want to say this thing's like 170 bucks, 160 bucks, something like that. And you know, it does good. I mean, these are rusting a little bit on here. You know, that could be, I never left it outside, but you know, it's just like over time, but it's got the sprayer. And then of course, with all Petras, you get this bag and it's got all kinds of foggers and misters and double sprayer double cone and a flexi thing but once again i just get a t-jet and i put the fan tip on there this one's got like this like flood fan on there it's really nice got that from kenny cooper but uh yeah this one's good and then i have the hd 4000 here which to be honest with you i haven't used i was using the hd 4050 and they're basically the same thing but i had a little problem with my other one so once again Petra sent me another one, no questions asked. So, you know, their warranty is really good over there, but this 4,000 comes with all the special kind of tips. And, oh, what I was gonna say is too, this one has a battery that comes in and out of here. And then when you spray, the motor actually kills out. So it kind of like saves your battery. Whereas this one, when you're running it, it is like, it just constantly goes. But this has a built-in battery on it and has, they say it lasts around six hours. This one lasts around three hours. And this one's got a nice little snap side thing. So you're kind of like a Ghostbuster with it on the side. It's got a cool little blue hose, you know, but otherwise, uh, oh, and the, this 4,000, it comes with a little extend -a pole here that is not working well. Here we go. Oh, oh, I just took it out. But yeah, you get the picture. It extends out. Same thing, this one extends out, you know, the Petras are nice, you know, they get the job done. You know, this one has a little voltage here to let you know uh, when your battery is dying, but really it serves no purpose. It's just green and red. So it's kind of like, you know, you're always green and then all of a sudden you're red. So you're kind of in trouble. And this one actually has a gauge on the battery when you pull it out. So, you know, this one has a nice white top. This one kind of not so narrow or kind of narrow, but, uh, and then this one also comes with like this little measuring cup, kind of, I don't know, never used it, not planning on using it, but yeah. Another thing about these that not a huge fan of is that, you know, you can't really see, but there is one through four on here and you can't really see it. Same thing on this one, one through four, but what I did was I used a Sharpie and I just marked to see where I was at because you know it's when you're spraying and you, you want to know when you're getting lows and you take a look back there but you know otherwise you know these are good the straps on here like I said they're these are kind of weak you know but you know this one I think was 180 bucks 190 bucks they're like they're all on sale right now and uh, but this one comes with a nice backpack but you know I don't know these these things they they got the job done all through the season the 4050 was really good to me I had a problem with uh, the battery I suggest uh, the 4000 because this this has a just a straight up plug in, whereas the 4050 had this like screw plug and that's what broke on it. So, but Petro was awesome and they sent me another one. They're like, you know what, if that broke on you, you know, let's dummy proof it for you and give you the 4000. They didn't say that, but it's, I could tell that's what they meant. So, but yeah, it comes with all the tips and you know, these are really good sprayers for middle of the road. You know, because the next level is what we're about to look at, which is the My Four Sons. And we're talking now, that's a whole different ball game. So let's throw that bad boy on the table. The King Kong of sprayers as of right now that I have. This is the My Four Sons. And they actually sent this to me, try out this year. You know, I've tried the Petra and I have no complaints about it at all. But they, they hooked me up and uh, I asked them to give me what the best they got. And they hooked me up with... The, this package normally, uh, or the, the, the normal sprayer is 219 and then they have this one, which is 324, 324 bucks. But you get all kinds of stuff. You get this little gun pouch here. It's all kinds of metal pieces. Sorry, I was playing with it, it's a little wet, but super extender, metal rod. And there's another thing about with this hose that it's like a, something about the flex in it but it has these quick connect here comes out goes right back in so that's kind of nice comes with the spare hose if you have a problem and then 
This is for getting into high places. It's got this humongous cord or hose, sorry. And then comes with the spray gun, the pistol, where it comes with every kind of attachment plus metal tips. We got we got the uh, fan tips, we got double, triple cones, and the bendable stuff, the fogger, even more. Comes with more plastic tips, all kinds of little O-rings, tape, and all everything. This comes with everything, plus for bleaches and acids, it comes with the extendable plastic wand. So, but what I really was intrigued by this machine is here. Actually, let me just grab the camera and show you. So most of the time we have a uh, paint stick that a lot of people use and to mix up your stuff. And this comes with, look at this. This is an onboard agitator. So if I can just turn this on real quick, it'll keep mixing for you while you're going. And that is actually a separate, let me set you back down. That is a separate mechanism from the actual power for the pump. So they, they run on two different circuits. So right now we got the pump going and then also then we can kick on the agitator. So I found that to be pretty fascinating. And this has, uh, it's pretty crazy. It has like this like lead battery in there, lead acid, something like that. And this thing uh, can only use this charger. And it says uh, on the battery that you're only supposed to charge this thing every three months. So it lasts forever. And uh, I think Brett from Brett Grasscapades, he did a spray challenge and this thing outlasted everybody. But uh, yeah, onboard agitator. And then plus this one has a voltage gauge, just like the Petra, but this one actually has green, yellow, and red. So when we are starting to get low, we can get notified because this thing does take a little bit of time to charge, but uh, you know, you only gotta do it very so often, but comes with the screen and everything and uh, nice big wide mouth. And once again, when I was spraying with this thing, uh, just testing it out, it sprays down to basically nothing. There's like nothing left in the tanks, which is really, really nice when it comes to spraying. So, but yeah, this thing is, uh, is the King Kong of them all. So let's get them all back on the table and do one last review. All right, team, so in conclusion, I mean, can we get by with the pumps? Yeah, this, the, this did me good all through my first season. Upgraded to the two gallon, the Sprayer Plus, this thing is solid, still killing it, still use it. You know, I just I still use it because just to keep things flowing through. You don't want to just let it sit stagnant because it is a nice machine. Petra, fantastic company. You know, they they hooked me up with these, and whenever you have a problem, I just sent them a message through Instagram, and they sent me a sprayer. Like, what was the problem? And their their customer service is fantastic. They respond right away, and uh, you know, they really easy to deal with. And then my four sons, I mean. I mean, they hooked me up with it, but you know, there's a number on there that you text and you get a personal, in, you get an individual's number that it's not like some 800 number, you know, you get their personal number and then they respond right away. So, I mean, you can't be customer service with that. Plus all the parts on there, it's just, and you can buy refurbished ones too that are even cheaper. So, I mean, like this thing from what I hear is the Cadillac of a mall, and you know I was spraying with it in the driveway, and this thing just feels nice and smooth. It's nice and quiet. It's fantastic. But also, I forgot to mention this right here, which still has a little bit of junk in it from last year. The Dial and Spray Ortho. I still use these things. I love them. They clog, blah, blah, wah, wah, wah. But you know what? I got like four of them. They're like seven bucks, and you know you can put your stuff in there, and then you just go and spray. So. Oh, hopefully this helped you out. You know, this, you know, like I said, these are good. Every, all these are good. You know, they all serve a purpose, you know, but I mean, it just depends on where you're at in the game. So this is like beginner, middle, intermediate. And like, that is like when you're feeling like you're a pro or something like that. So, but yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button, check out uh, my Instagram and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Turn the notifications on. I'll see you.